Good morning. Good morning everybody welcome back to the channel so uh woke up super early this morning made the drive up north to the iowa great lakes region we're gonna try and um hit up east okoboji today looking for the notorious 10 inch bluegill um okoboji area has just been nailed with snow um this year is crazy amount of snowfall they've had um, and the ice is super thick, so looking at at least 24 inches. So plenty of trucks out here on the ice. I'm gonna go ahead and take the truck out, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. see how deep this actually is. Twenty four and a half, twenty five inches. All right, guys. So uh, I got all set up here. Been marking some fish. We're in about nine, ten feet of water out here. Not far off of um, shit. What's it called? Not far off uh, the point by the Ritz. So East Lake Okaboji. So what we're going to start with today, this is a little 3 millimeter clam uh, drop tungsten, okay, <clears throat> and we're going to pair it with um, just a regular waxworm maggot. So let me show you, there's a trick here, I'm going to push that maggot on, okay, and we're going to squeeze, see that, squeeze the guts out. And now he's really floppy, right? So that's going to give it some really natural action when we're down there. This jig is kind of a, it's a glow pink. I really like it. It's more of an off color. Um, let's see, let's get our, not they were hanging nice and horizontal like. And we'll start with that. We got fish on the bottom. And we're marking like crazy. Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> Just a little guy. Now check out those colors. Make a cool little aquarium fish. Well, that took all of 15 seconds. Jeez, good bait. This is what grows the bass in here. Yummy, yummy. There we go. Something you need to be make sure you're doing. Readjust your knot, your line, so that that jig is as horizontal as possible. Super critical for these finicky panfish. Probably put on a bigger lure here and try and keep these tiny ones away. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys are in for a treat. I'll show you my secret. Bluegill kill, bluegill killer, my all-time favorite combo. So it's a uh, three-centimeter clam drop. It's a gold tungsten, and then it's paired with a um, a clam silky. You can see the bead right there. Um, that's in a citrus color, so kind of like a light orange, almost a gold. Um, and I hook that. A lot of people have it running horizontally, but I hook that bead and run it vertical. So there's a tail sticking out at the end here. So what I'm going to do is just take a little red spike, put it on there, and have most, uh, Silky's going to do most of the action on this lure. So, yeah, let's see if they like it here up at Okaboji. Usually these fish just sit active that far up the water column. They're ready to munch. But this is Okaboji, so they do whatever the hell they want. So you can see I got this fish right on me. And I tap the back of my rod. Like that it brings the tip up just the tiniest little bit. It also makes a little bit of noise. Let's see if that'll get him to commit. Alright, so when they're all over you like this, you really, you quit looking at the Vexlar and you're looking at your rod tip. Even the slightest change in that slip bobber, you need to set that hook. Like that! Ow. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Ow. Perfect. Look at that. Dude's got a freaking forehead. Look at that thing. <laughs> awesome. Awesome fish. Man. So, that was a textbook example of finesse fishing for these big Okaboji bluegills. Perfect example. 
All right, guys, so my camera cut off right there, but um, that was a really cool sequence. So from start to finish, um, I changed to that super, super confident lure I have, that gold that gold tungsten 3 millimeter with a uh, citrus clam silky and a little red, little red spike on there. Um, you know, we had a couple big fish marked. Um, took me about, oh, probably 45 seconds to a minute. Um, really just finesse fishing that that bluegill um, having it right in his face moving it up just centimeters at a time and tapping my rod the back of my rod like that to move that bait vertically in the water column just a little bit at a time um, so that was cool I kind of narrated it and it paid off so uh, yeah I think we found a better pattern to catch these big fish and we'll get back to it all right I'm gonna teach you this trick okay so we got like three or four fish on the bottom just screwing around coming up and kind of fainting some interest so what I'm going to do is reel up a few feet and I'm just going to let that fall straight back to the bottom and see if they race back up for it all right reeled up two and a half feet three feet jig 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 big jigs all right there we go see how we pulled that guy off the bottom there Little jiggle jiggle wiggles. You got it. Come on, brother. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. In his mouth. Let's try that again. There we go. Let me do a little bigger one. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh shit, came off fucking do sir. That was a nice one. It's probably nine inch. These big boys take some convincing. You gotta be a salesman. Just gonna slightly micro wobble. There we go. There we go. Not as big as that one that came off, but. Uh, We're moving in the right direction, boys. You're moving in the right direction. Just love these colors of these fish up here. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Great guest on tonight, and we're gonna dig into his brain and see what's up. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe we got Bobby Lane lined up, Brad. What do you think about that, buddy? You've got legend status, and we're just a couple of guys that's that's you know, grind through the cool. uh, Yes. I mean, he's won pretty much everything you can win in the fastest Let's world. Let's freaking go. Any other world he fishes <laughs> in. Yeah, super stoked. I can't believe he's coming on. I mean, as you said, we are kind of living in purgatory in the opens right now. We just changed up to a better for us to come soon. <clears throat> a chartreuse, Wonder Bread, uh, I'm gonna be pretty Tungsten. Nice Bobby Lane. He seems like a nice uh, guy. Just a little tiny bit yeah. Yeah. of the uh, lot of, lot of that mushroom on there. He just came I up know, and I crushed it. Uh, Look at this yeah, big girl. Couple, so we bring him on. He's actually sitting in a tournament way in. And
There's a nice one. A little bit of light in here. Beautiful. Another nice bluegill. Big old forehead. All right, everybody. So we're going to call the video here. Um, it was nice to end on that nine and a half inch bluegill with the giant forehead. A um, bunch of kids on snowmobiles showed up. That's, you know, that's what you have to put up with here at Okaboji. Um, in the winter, it's snowmobiles. In the summer, it's speedboats. So that's just part of the game. But uh, head home a little bit earlier um, than I planned. Um, but yeah, um, overall, it was a fun trip. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and like and comment down below um thank you all um returning viewers we really appreciate the support it's awesome to see this channel taking off like i hoped it would so um with that said thanks again and we will see you next time